Ok, alors on va voir euh, qui est là. Je ne sais pas si vous voyez, me voyez ou m'entendez. Je vais essayer de lire les messages. Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, hi, bonjour uh, Diana, Maha. Uh, bonjour uh, Bella, j'espère que vous m'entendez, j'espère que vous me voyez. Aujourd'hui, je suis uh, chez moi, à Matheum. Uh, donc, uh, c'est un peu différent. Uh, let's play Roblox. What's that? Love from India. Bonjour. Attends, je vais, je vais lire les noms. Bonjour Mohamed, Chantney, Safel, Gary, Happy Mac. Uh, it's going too fast. J'aime Paris. Bonjour. <laughs> bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour Crystal. Bonjour Pinky PJ, who is a member. And I saw another member as well. Uh, Renu, bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, thank you. Janvier, bonjour. Uh, David, bonjour. Now, today is not an exclusive live. Today is a live to all, as you can see from the many, you know, people uh, wanting to say hello. It's open to all. And I'm going to try to answer a few questions if I can see them because they're scrolling really, really, really fast. So, um, but if you have any questions, please fire away. I know that there is one cage question um, about the ash aspiré and the ash muet. Uh, Vihan had this question and I thought that was very relevant, so I might start with that before going into something different. Bonjour Alexa, j'espère que vous allez bien aujourd'hui et passer une bonne journée, une, jo une journée bénie. Raimundo, merci. Une journée très bénie. Uh, I'm about to learn French, but I don't know which, what to start with, grammar or vocabulary. Villabi, actually I might start with this question. Uh, Villa B is saying, actually, I want to learn French, where do I start? It's very much open to the way you learn. I know that some people enjoy learning rules and some people will learn um, a language in a formulaic way, which means that you will learn sentences, block of sentences. Now, if you're a mathematician, <laughs> you might enjoy the rules um, and following certain rules. So if I were you, I would do both. I would do definitely grammatical rules and at the same time feed yourself with as much vocabulary as possible. And the vocabulary will help you get a point across when you speak to someone French, even if it's one word like croissant ou pain au chocolat. We know that you want a croissant ou a pain au chocolat. Now, ideally, we would like you to build a sentence around that word, okay? Je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît, okay? Uh, je voudrais deux croissants, s'il vous plaît. So, overall, learn vocabulary in parallel to learning the rules. So, I have about 800 videos on YouTube that you can follow, but the best ones, the best ones that you can, uh, you can actually uh, follow are the French essential lessons that I have lesson from 1 to 55. So start with lesson 1 and then make your way up to, then they become quite, um, uh, quite hard. If you want uh, something way more structured, then uh, go to learnfrenchwithalexa.com and you will see that here you've got hundreds of hours of very well structured, you know, uh, lessons, very different from YouTube. So, and this is what we are trying to promote this week because it's Black Friday. So special 20% off here, I've said it, 20% uh, off of the course at learnfrenchwithalexa.com. And I think Adam will feed you the, the code in a minute. I am actually learning from your podcast. Is that cheating? No, <laughs> you can learn from any anywhere. I am on podcasts. I am on Instagram. I am on YouTube. I am on the website, Learn French with Alexa. I am uh, from everywhere. Now, uh, bonjour, my best beloved teacher. Hope you are doing good. I can read any article in French, but when I go to pronounce loudly, I got stuck in pronunciation. Um, that's not a problem. I think that uh, learn or watch French films together with the subtitles in French, and that will uh, give you some aspects of, uh, of the pronunciation of the words that are you know, obviously said at the same time, okay? Now, uh, can you say hi to Mara? 
Hi, Mara. <laughs> I have an exam tomorrow. Please, can you revise Passé Composé? Yes, soft balloon. We are going to do just that for 20 minutes. So, but before that, Vihan had a really good question and I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, so very quickly, okay, because Vihan asked me really nicely earlier on, um, this is what we are going to do, okay? If you want... Uh, to be able to pronounce a word that begins with an H in French properly, you've got to know two things. Is that sometimes the H is muet, as in uh, not pronounced, and the other time the H is aspiré. <sighs> That's aspiré. I don't know why we say that. So sometimes you have to not do the liaison. So I'm going to uh, use blue. Okay. When I say not do, the li uh, not do the liaison, that means you have to give the article le or la in front of the words, okay, in its entirety. Entirety? Do you say entirety? Okay. And sometimes when the word begins with an edge, you don't. You do not say le or you do not say La. So that's the problem in, in France, okay? And I must admit, you know, it's really hard to teach. Um, trying to find a pattern of when to do it, when not to do it is really hard. And as a matter of fact, Vihan, I had to do some research before, uh, before you know, coming up with maybe an answer. Now, if you look at Ibu, that's an owl. Ooh, ooh. Okay, try to do the owl. Ooh, ooh. No, it's a Like that, maybe, I don't know. Now, we say le hibou, and we do not say libou, okay? We say le hibou because it has an H aspiré. So you must pronounce the E, okay? Or the H more like, and the letter that comes after that. And then for hôpital, it doesn't have an H aspiré. We call it an H muet, okay? So you've got to say l'hôpital, l'hôpital. Okay, so here it's an H muet. Muet means mute. We do not pronounce here uh, it. Okay, so let's have a look at the list of words. Okay, of H muet and and H aspiré. Now on the left hand side we have H muet. L'homme. So we don't say le homme. Okay, we say l'homme. Now, bear in mind that all these words have an article le or la in front of it, okay? They are feminine or they are masculine. Every word will either be feminine or masculine, okay? So, l'homme is masculine. Le, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I put them like that so you see whether it's masculine or feminine. L'heure, the clock, the hour is feminine. L'horloge. L'horloge is feminine, that's the clock. L'habitude, l'habitude, it's the habit, and it's uh, feminine, okay? Une horreur, l'horreur, l'horreur, the horror, okay? And l'hiver, l'hiver. Now, all of these words have an H, okay, muet, which means that it's not aspiré, okay? So learn this word by heart, you know, you don't say le homme, you say l'homme. L'heure, l'horloge, l'habitude, l'horreur, l'hiver, okay? If you have followed my latest videos on uh, masculine and feminine, I explained to you uh, when a word is most likely to be feminine and when a word is most likely to be masculine, okay? Now remember that feminine words will start with la, for the, or une, for a, okay? And the masculine word will start with le, for a, and un, for a, okay? Uh, uh, le, for the, and un, for a, okay? Remember that, okay? So, do watch it. It's, it's uh, I think it's <laughs> one uh, of a video that is going to spiral into uh, becoming quite a big video on my channel, okay? So, Huitième. Now let's go to the right hand side. All these words have H aspiré. Okay? H aspiré. So le huitième. Le huitième. So the eighth. Eighth. Okay? Huitième. Okay? Cardinal numbers here. Okay? So le huitième. 
le haricot, the haricot, ok, haricot, or the bean, green bean, la harpe. Now we don't say l'arpe, we say la harpe. Le hamster, le hamster, le handicap, le handicap, le hérisson, which is a hedgehog. Now, I've read somewhere, uh, Laura Lawless. If you do not know Laura Lawless, I think she's one of the best teachers there is in the world. Uh, she's extraordinary, and um, I, I really am a fan. She doesn't know that, but uh, I'm a fan of Laura um, because she does some amazing, amazing uh, lessons, mini lessons on things like that. Okay, and she she uh, does teach amazingly well. Um, so. She points out that uh, a lot of the words with the ash, aspiré, are taken, are words taken from other languages, okay? It could be that it is the case, okay? But I think if, if Laura Lawless, Lawless, L-A-W-L-E-S-S, Laura Lawless, what's her name again? Laura Lawless. Oh, Adam is giving you. Now, Laura Lawless is, the, is, is definitely out there. Um, you know, uh, she's not on YouTube, no, she does only uh, lessons, uh, you know, she worked for about.com and she's big, big. Um, so just, Bella says, just keep practicing, it will get easier. Try using pronunciation video and practice with them. Thank you, Bella. I think that's really, really relevant, of course. Uh, bonjour from Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Uh, okay. So I have to go. Thank you, madame. Uh, Rishi Wintergun, um, good night. Good night. Bonne nuit. <laughs> Bonne nuit. <laughs> okay, so um, so we have uh, we have these, you know, H muet and H aspiré. Please try to learn the list. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The list is huge, okay, for the list from H muet and H aspiré. Uh, ultimately, you won't get it wrong if you give the words, you know, with a le or l, or, you know, in front of it. It really, really is not a problem. Okay, so someone says, I've got an exam tomorrow and teach me about the passé composé. I can't remember who it was. Okay, uh, who it was. Uh, Dolev, what's the difference between GC and je suis ici? Uh, ah, one is I'm here and the other one is I'm there. I was there or I am there. Okay, now, here we go. Now, we are going to do a game. Okay, we have a participe passé here and you've got to tell me what is the infinitive of that participe passé. So, let me rewind. A participe passé is used in a passé composé. Now, the passé composé, for example, is this. I saw, I have seen, okay? It's a tense that is conjugated in the past, okay? So it's an action that took place and is gone done over with, okay? But what's very interesting about the passé composé is that it is composed of two things. It's composed of an auxiliary, to have or to be, and it's composed of a participe passé, such as seen, I have seen, okay? Well, in French, we have past participle as well, okay? So, for example, in English, we have this, seen. Seen is the verb to see. Do you agree? Yeah? So, to see, and I'm not sure you can see properly, is an infinitive of that verb, okay? So what we are trying to see here, okay, with the exercise we're about to do, we are going to transform the past participle, such as seen, into its infinitive, okay, such as to see, okay? We're going to do that for all of them, okay? Um, I can't, <laughs> I can't, uh, Mimi, oh, I, I can't help you now, you know, and it's late probably for you, Mimi, you should be in bed. Okay, bonjour, Rad, Sahamsa. Uh, okay, in order to use the passé composé, not only do you need to know the past participle, you must absolutely know how to conjugate avoir, to have, and être, in the present tense. So, 
j'ai, I have, and then you add a past participle, and then you have the passé composé, ok? Tu as vu, you saw, il a vu, he has seen or he saw, nous avons vu, vous avez vu, ils ont vu, elles ont vu. So learn how to conjugate to have in the present tense if you want to use it for the passé composé. Ok? J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Ok? So let's go back very quickly because I know that uh, Some of you know the answer of that. Hey, Kate, Heidi Fleming, bonjour, I know you, Kate. I have 150 word exam coming up. How can I revise effectively? Fatima studies, have you seen my GCSE videos? They are perfect uh, for mini little 100 word uh, videos. So you do have a look at my GCSEs. I am eight years old. My name is Sahansa. Bonjour, Sahansa. You're young. Some of you are really young. Lifestyle family. Hello. Learn French with Alexa. Uh, okay, so here we go. Participe passé. Vu. Vu. What is the infinitive of vu? Can you tell me the infinitive of vu? Okay, Bella is on fire. She's just telling me them all. Okay, vu. What is the infinitive of vu? So what we are going to do is that. So I have, here we go. Okay. So vu in English is seen, but what is the infinitive of that verb? Indeed, it is voir. So what we are doing here is to see, to see. You see what we are doing? So it has not yet been conjugated and vu is the participe passé. So, j'ai vu, I have seen, j'ai vu, comes from the verb voir, to see, okay, to see. So let's have a look at the next one, d, d. I know that some of you have already written uh, d, come, means said, I have said, or I said, and the infinitive of that verb is dire. Dear, to say, to say. So if you wanted to say, I said, I said it, j'ai dit, ok, je l'ai dit. J'ai dit, tu as dit, il a dit, nous avons dit, vous avez dit, ils ont dit, and so on. Ok, so let's have a look at the next one. Lu, lu, lu. So what is lu, ok Ok, uh, roman, j'ai dû is different from dire, ok, j'ai dû means I had to, j'ai dit is I said, ok, uh, ok, so lu is indeed, indeed it is read, ok, so I have read, the infinitive is lire, lire, to read, To read, well done you guys, okay, uh, to read, lire, okay, bu, bu, anybody knows bu, okay, and David, well done, David Begum, who is one of my members, now David, remember that this is an open session, and of course, next week we have an exclusive session for my members, same for you, Nitin, Uh, who would love to learn French directly from you. Nitin, you can take directly uh, French classes from me on uh, because you're a member on the live. So it's much smaller than, than this, okay? So, bu is boire, absolutely. So, bu is drunk, drunk. I never know, I never know which one it is. So, drink, drunk, drunk, drunk. I have drunk, I think you say. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? And bu is boire. Boire. To drink. To drink, okay? See what we are doing? We are transforming the past participle into its infinitive, okay? Infinitive, okay? I have drunk. Oh, sorry, did I make a mistake? 
Who's correcting me? George Elliot. Sorry, George. Thank you, George Elliot. Drunk? Are you sure? I have drunk? Yes, I have drunk. Or oh, drunk. Okay, which one is it? Which one is it? I never know. Do you know, it's one of these things I don't know. Uh, like I said, you know, I am not the science infuse. I don't know everything. Okay, so next, poo. Do you recognize this one? Poo, poo. Now, I would translate it as I have been able to. Okay, so poo. What is the infinitive of poo? Poo. Okay. Okay, I can see that some people are having uh, trouble with drunk and drunk. Maybe Adam could answer this question. So, Adam, what do we say? I have drunk or I have drunk? <laughs> Just, I am drunk. I have been drunk. Okay, anyway. Nix, pouvoir. Absolutely, pouvoir. Okay, so pouvoir. Okay, well done, well done. It's really hard, you know. How can a, a, a verb such as pouvoir become pu in its in, in its uh, past participle form? It's beyond me. So to be able to, to can, to be able. Okay, so this one is really complex to conjugate even in the present tense. Je peux, tu peux, il peut, nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. Okay, so next one. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Me, me, okay, me. So me, I'm going to translate it as put, okay, put. But what is the infinitive of that verb, okay? Uh, Vihan, well done, we are nearly Vihan. The spelling is not quite uh, the same, uh, but we have double T. Well done, Fiona, Maître, and Tanzin. It's going fast. Indusha, très bien. Uh, we have Mavira, me is maître, absolutely. Okay, donc, if you wanted to say I put it there or I have put it there, it was je l'ai mis ici. Okay, so maître, maître, okay, uh, to put. Okay, now the next one is su, su, okay, the next one is su. So su. If we were to translate the past participle, if su would be nun, okay? So what is the infinitive of that verb? Redeemer, su is savoir, savoir. Très bien, savoir, okay. Asseneu, vous êtes le meilleur professeur de français et anglais pour nous qui parlent espagnol. I know, I was told as well that I should uh, do learn English with Alexa, except that I'm not English, so I, I, I don't know everything, like drunk, drunk, I don't know. So, savoir is definitely, you're good, well done you guys. Okay, so savoir, to know, okay, savoir, to know. Uh, I know the exercise about the regular and irregular verb vocabulary and I say thank you, gros bisous, Alexa, Mexica plus. Rosa Romero, merci, and hello to Mexico, le Mexique. Uh, okay, so, su. Now let's have a look, we have three more to go, four more to go. Appris, appris. Now, appris, I would say, is learned. I have learned. But what is the infinitive of that verb? Appris. Okay, appris. So you would say, j'ai appris. I learned. But where does that come from? J'ai appris. Bo uh, Mohamed, bonjour. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, Mohamed, stop spamming, <laughs> please. Now, appris is apprendre. Très bien. Apprendre, okay. Apprendre. Oh, I'm changing green here. Apprendre. Okay. And by the way, I've chosen highly irregular verbs that are uh, third group verbs. Otherwise, and I will show you in a minute, it would be easy if it was the first group one. So, apprendre, apprendre, apprendre. Wonderful. You're good. I can see people are jumping into the next one. So, we'll get on with the next one. Okay. So, apprendre is to learn. So if you wanted to say, I learned French, you would say, j'ai appris. Tu as appris. 
il a appris, nous avons appris, vous avez appris, etc. etc. D'accord Ok. Uh, so, here we go. The next one is connu, connu, which is again known, known. So we've got two ways of saying to know, is savoir and connaître. If I have time, I will tell you in a minute uh, the difference. Uh, so connaître is uh, to know, okay, known. So what is, what is the infinitive of that verb? Yes, Rosa Romaro, well done. Suhani, bravo. And I know that uh, some of you, Tenzin, bravo, uh, R-A-D, bravo. Uh, and Renu, bravo, uh, David, bravo. Uh, and it's interesting because when you have an I before a T, you should put a accent circumflex, which is a hat, okay? So, connaître is to know, okay? Now, the next one is U, U. So, if you say j'ai eu, j'ai eu, what does that mean? J'ai eu. I have had. I have had. Okay. J'ai eu. It's a weird one, this one. And so it's had. It's the past participle of to know. Okay. So what is the actual infinitive of that verb? It is bravo. Well done, you guys. It's avoir. Yeah. I can see. Avoir, uh, Nitin, I had, certainly that's what it means, and it means to have, to have, okay? It's really hard when you hear it, j'ai eu, okay? Tu as eu, il a eu, nous avons eu, vous avez eu, ils ont eu, etc., etc., okay? You're doing super, super good, okay. Um, you deserve more subscribers, awesome teacher, madame. Oh. I've got a million, 20,000 nearly. Oh, I've got enough. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I've got a lot of subscribers. Um, but join me on Insta. I'm trying to make it big on Insta. Not make it big, but uh, we've discovered Instagram and we love it. So, so to have. Now, the last word, été, été, uh, été. Ratna, bravo, uh, Renu, bravo, uh, Nerges, bravo, Indusha, bravo, uh, Ukraine, hello, Ukraine, uh, Zombie, bravo. So, été is être, and if you were to translate été, it means summer as well, so j'ai été, I have been, okay, and the Infinitive of that verb is être, to be, okay? So please, please uh, learn this as much as you can and by heart. Il fait quoi ce chapeau? Je ne peux pas entendre la différence. Ah, Louis, quelle, quelle bonne uh, question. Alors, je vais, je vais répondre à la question de Louis. Il fait quoi ce chapeau? Il y a... Aucune différence, ok? Aucune différence quand tu as euh, un, euh, un accent circonflexe sur le i. Il n'y a aucune différence. Euh, tu vas le voir. Euh... Ah, oui, euh... oui, par exemple, naître, ok? Naître, to be born, ok? Euh, ce chapeau sur le i est là parce qu'il y a un t après. C'est tout, ok Donc, il n'y a aucune différence de son lorsqu'il en vient au i, c'est-à-dire au i. Par contre, il y a une différence de son quand tu, euh, quand tu en fait l'utilises avec le e. Donc, par exemple, et e, et e, ok Ça sonne un peu pareil, donc bébé, forêt, frère. It's a bit different, isn't it? Bébé, forêt, frère. OK? Euh, donc, trois différents euh, E et avec un, différent, euh, un accent différent. Donc, l'accent circonflexe fait une différence. D'accord? Et tu verras la même chose sur le A. 
Ah, comme ça. OK. Donc, quelquefois, tu vas voir l'accent sur le A. OK. Et tu auras un accent comme ça aussi, sur le A. D'accord Et euh, la différence est la même. Enfin, euh, il n'y a pas de différence. Tu ne peux pas avoir une différence qui est la même. Euh, C'est la même chose. OK. Le A. Ma. 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 Sorry, I'm just. Ma. 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 OK. Euh, un petit truc sur les accents, euh, bien souvent lorsque tu as un accent circonflexe, ça veut dire que tu peux remplacer, si tu veux, le S ou mettre un S après et ça donne le nom en anglais, donc forêt, forest. Et en fait, je peux penser à plusieurs mots, par exemple, ma, donc si tu essayes de faire la même chose ma stop ok uh, uh, quite often when you have a hat on top of a letter try to replace it by an s ok or not replace it just yeah replace it by an s afterwards and see whether that makes an english word and uh and definitely can you think of another word that has a accent circonflex that we can use par exemple i can think of another one wait for it here we go Hôpital. So if you replace it, okay, by an S, it's hospital. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, ah, château castle. Oui, c'est vrai. And then she said, le château. Château can. Does it work? It doesn't really work with château, does it? So, château. But it works a little bit. So let's see. If we cross that, it's Shasto, and it probably comes from castle. Okay, castle. David, hotel. Here's another one, exactly. So, hotel, if you replace it by hostel, hostel. Yes. Uh, être, I know Ishita, I like that. It doesn't work, uh, does it for être? But fet, fet. Okay, let's see whether that works for fest. Okay, we drop fest, festival, festivities. Okay, I think uh, maître, maître is a good one. Well done, you're good. Maître, un trône. Maître, which is a master. So you can see how the old English maestro, okay, comes back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kings to one bata bastard. Absolutely, that works, okay? And I don't need to swear, but it does work well done. Fenêtre, fenestre. Okay, so quite, quite often, I'm, I'm glad we work together. It's amazing. Look at that. Fenêtre, fenestre. So try to do that, okay? It doesn't work for gâteau, does it? Rêver, it doesn't work. Ah. Ah, okay, madam, since I started French, I see your videos and I have subscribed from all my devices. I am from India and it is 1 a.m. here. Okay, Shayaninka, go to bed. Okay, tomorrow is school day. Okay, or work day. Go to bed. Okay, right. Um, I think, well, because Shayaninka has to go to bed, I think we've got to stop here. I'm going to... Now... Uh, because I'm doing that on my uh, computer, how is the sound and how is the image? Is it okay? Adam had an issue with me doing it just on my computer and he said, oh, not good quality. So if it's good quality, let, let me know, okay? Uh, because we might do more of these uh, because, of course, it's one o'clock. Oh, 7 p.m. I can do that at home, not in the office. I refuse to go to the office at 7 p.m. Uh, okay, now um, it's 8.30 p.m. in Nigeria. Bonjour, Onya Kachi from Nigeria. Now, for those that do not know uh, me on Instagram, sometimes I get to speak to people. And if you want to speak to me, you can. Just watch out for the live on Instagram. Uh, do subscribe. And then you will see that actually... If you look at the IGTV and all the interviews I've done and the lives, sometimes I talk to real people. Yes, I do. 
Uh, we are doing Black Friday sales at learnfrench.com. Now, learnfrench.com is learn French with Alexa, but type learnfrench.com because we are that cool that we are called learnfrench.com. And the coupon is Noir20, and we've got 20% off uh, our awesome hundreds of hours of structured lessons. Uh, George Eliot, uh, selon Marianne Wester, in Modern Usage uh, Guides, drunk is the past tense of drink as I, I drank a lot last night, and drunk is the past participle. Yes, following have, as in yes, I have drunk. What did I put, George? Thank you. What did I say? What did I say? Yes. Yes, I was right. I have drunk. Thank you, George. I love that George Elliot uh, did actually some research on the past participle of drink. That tells you how nerdy George and I are. Okay. Yes, uh, bonjour, uh, Georgie Gutierrez uh, has become a new member. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you for becoming a new member. You can do either you become a new member or you buy my course at Learn French with Alexa or learnfrench.com. Okay, um, thank you so much for inspiring my kids to get on and study the French call out for Lulu and Sophie please bisous hello Rachel and bonjour à Lulu bonjour à Sophie okay kiss them for me if they are in bed I'm not sure how old they are uh, please do more live lessons on YouTube madam uh, yes but I am so busy there are so many things oh then what is Quizik? Quizik is different we are in partenariat with Quizik. Uh, Quizik have different uh, things. So we have a collaboration with Quizik, but they are different from us. Um, if you want to practice more of your French to what you learn with me, you can uh, do quizzes from quizzes. But on our website this year, we have introduced quizzes at every single lesson that we teach. There is an interactive quiz now. Vera, I tried to become a member, but I could not. Please help me. Vera, a member on YouTube or a member on the website? Please support uh, just uh, uh, this address, support at learn French with Alexa.com. There. That is the address. So type support at learn French with Alexa.com and uh, someone will answer your uh, email. Au revoir, à bientôt, and I hope you enjoyed this, uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, which is super short, uh, a member on YouTube. Vera, you need to click on the join button. Ah, it depends which country you are in. Sometimes, depending on the country you are watching this YouTube channel, Sometimes the uh, member is not like, um, for example, Nick Tax is a member because uh, there is a join button underneath the channel for his or her, uh, his uh, uh, country. Okay, so uh, a plus tard, Nick, a plus tard, Luis, merci, au revoir, Luis. Uh, Arrêté, au revoir, à bientôt. And what can I say? Bisou, bisou, and you've done well, but all these Indian people out there, go to bed now. I am not your mama, but if I were, I'm sure she would say, go to bed. It's late. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's crazy late. Bisou, bisou.